Hey everyone, it's Matt here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a desktop background that looks something like this. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to want to do is go ahead and make a new document. Uh, I have a custom preset saved to background. It is 1920 by 1080 with a 72 resolution, 72 DPI resolution, uh, RGB 8-bit, and the white background. So let's go ahead and OK that. And um, yeah, so what we're going to want to do first is we are going to create a couple new layers. So, yeah. Um, what we're going to do is first we're going to make these little, ver or these nice little vertical lines. So we're going to grab our, what is this tool called? Vertical tool. Mm, wait for it. Shape, vertical shape tool. And um, we're just going to make, make it black. Okay. And we're just going to start making lines. Okay. Just make them as thick or as thin as you want. I just kind of go crazy with it so nothing is ever the same if I make another background like this. I don't like a lot of white space, so, oops. Cancel that, and, uh, there, just like that. Alright. Uh, here, let me actually, don't want to delete that one, delete that one. Okay, so, um, then just, one right there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is merge all these layers, merge the shapes, and then rasterize the layer. Okay. Now that we're done with that, uh, you can take your layers and move them all around. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select this. Hold, or Actually, we're going to unlock this first. So layer from background after you right click. Now hold control or uh, command, I think it's command on a Mac, and um, click on the inside little square, and it'll select this layer, and what we're going to do is, since this layer is all funky like that, control on, cl control click on that, click on this layer, and then hit delete on your keyboard, oh, no, blah, blah sorry. Then hit, um, I think, I'm not 100% sure if you can do this, go to the select, and um, inverse. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Um, so never mind that. What we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and, um, we're going to make that little gradient, that gradient kind of thing on here. So we're going to select our desktop background and we are going to get our two favorite colors. I'm going to do, uh, my favorite color is blue, but I'm going to do orange for this example. So let's go ahead and do an orange and then we're going to select that color again. Okay, and we're just going to do a darker version of the orange, so kind of brownish. Oops. Okay, so like that. Then we're going to get our gradient tool and select um, just the first one should be good, foreground, background. And uh, we're going to control R to show our rulers. And we're just going to make a, um, get to the middle of the image, should be right there. Let's see, yep, right there. Okay, we're going to zoom out a little bit, get your gradient tool, and a little bit below, we're just going to make a little line here, hold shift to make it a completely straight line, okay, and then uh, I'm just going to drag down to up, wow, make sure that your, um, the ra uh, radial gradient is on though, so that you get the nice rounded effect, or else you're just going to get something like this, here, let's see, it's just going to be going straight up, instead of with a radial, it goes like this, oops. So yeah, it kind of goes out, this little effect there. So, uh, all right, now from that, we're going to go ahead and make, create a new layer, or a new document, sorry. We're going to make it 12 by 2 by 12. Okay, uh, make it transparent, just to save time. Then we're going to uh, Alt-Zoom all the way in, and we are going to get our pencil tool. It might, by default, be on the, um, the, uh, the brush, but let's get our pencil. And uh, let's make it black, okay? And if it is a little bit bigger, like that, go ahead and just hit the bracket key, the left bracket key to get, bring it to one pixel, just like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a nice little uh, pattern, or we're gonna create a vertical pattern, actually. So two, 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 and two. All right, and then we're gonna go two in between, Oh, whoops, we're going to start here. Okay, so there's going to be two in between each. 
And we're just going to do that all the way down. Okay. Oops. La la la. This is a one of the most tedious parts of all of it. And oh, I want to make sure that you don't do any of that, or else the picture might look a little bit weird. But you know, it's your preference. Okay. And um, now that'll leave a two space here. One, two, one, and then two. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and um, edit. Define pattern. I already have it as a pattern. I'm just going to name it uh, vertical lines. Okay. And then we go here. Create a new layer above rectangles, above the rectangle. Okay. Uh, we're actually going to put this on overlay. Okay. Now it's red. Uh, we're going to go here. Or no, no, no. We're going to put this on um, soft light. Which one did I put this on? We're going to put it on light and our color. Um, where is it? Lighter color, sorry. Okay. Then, uh, don't worry, we have to do some stuff to make it show again. So we're going to take our layer one and we're going to edit, fill, fill it with, uh, fill it with that pattern that we just defined. So this is if I do that, then I can see. Now you can see the vertical lines if I zoom in. And just like that. Okay. See how the picture got a little darker? Now we can go ahead here. And um, what else did I do here? I don't really understand. I don't know. Okay. So I selected these. And I went on here and I deleted that. There we go. Okay, now you can see the cool little lines. And, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to redo our gradient simply because it doesn't look good enough. So we're going to go here and uh, we're going to get a nice, nice orange again. So just find the orange that you're comfortable with. And then we're going to get a darker orange, like brown, so that we can get a nice effect on it because before you can tell. Oh. Um that didn't work okay I'll just do that and then and then just get the orange okay and then switch it just, just like that all right and then uh, there you go now you can tell all right cool and that's how your picture is gonna look right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to head and I'm going to take a logo and put that in here so uh, if I want to go to file place and place the logo that I want to put. So, for example, we're going to put there. Where's it? This logo. All right, the diamond hosting logo. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make it resize it a little bit. Okay, and um. Oh, sorry, gradient tool selected. Okay, and now we're gonna make a cool little placement for it. So let's go ahead and bring it up here. Oops. Oh. Gosh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, now get a. I can't talk. Okay, then let's grab it, get the center of it, just like that. Put it right there. Now what we're going to do is we are going to select it just like that, and we're going to click on the rectangle, delete it there. Then we're going to click on layer one and delete that there, so that you can see the whole entire image in its entirety. If I move it. Wait, if I move the logo, you can see that the outline of it would still be there. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we are going to um, we're going to change the opacity around. I'm going to change it to like 45 percent. So 45. Okay, then we're going to save as. Usually, it would be a good idea to save all of your um, all of the uh, all of your Photoshop things so in case you want to change it so vertical background orange if I could spell orange okay and save it okay now save as again and save it as a PNG all right and you always want to oh wait cancel save as uh, PNG, 
I guess there was already an orange one. Okay. Uh, save as, replace. And you always want to do the smallest and slash slow. And uh, interlace. And you don't need to. And then up here is where you can see how it's saving. So it's saving at 10%. And uh, we're just going to wait for that. It should come up right in here when it's done. Okay, there it goes. And uh, right click, set as your desktop background. And voila. Looks very nice, very clean. And uh, I like it a lot. I might actually keep this as my default. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. Uh, also, favorite the video if you liked it even more. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys later. Peace.